Hey, it's Joel. This is the Anycubic Cobra 3 Combo. The Anycubic Cobra 3, 250 by 250 by 260 on Z or Z, and an incredibly quick printing speed with a bunch of other really cool features that make this a, a really advanced machine. And then next to it is the Ace Pro. Ace being the Anycubic Color Engine. Anycubic has a box that serves up to four filaments into the Cobra 3 for multi-material or multi-color 3D printing. We're in the 3D Printing Nerd Studio, of course, proudly powered by PCBWay, 8% off using a link in the description. It's, of course, like free money. Anycubic reached out because the Cobra 3 combo was going to be new and exciting, and they wanted me to show it off with some sort of project. And I thought that would be a really good idea to kind of show off the features of the machine or something that it might be able to do. And since I've had this, others have had it, but no one has attempted to do what I did. And I'm excited to show you. And in order to talk about the project I have at hand, we have to talk about something else that Anycubic released at the time of the Cobra 3. And that was the four color filament pack that they worked together with the Pantone Color Institute to create. Do 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 do. Magnificent. And I got the box right here because this is what it comes in. And inside there are four colors. We've got Beach Fuzz, we've got Spring Leaf, we've got Tropical Turquoise and we have interstellar violet. Cool. Before we do any projects with the machine, it's in my best interest and yours as well to run some prints as a test, just to make sure everything is copacetic and everything works like it should. I started with models that were on the memory stick because I didn't want to slice them myself. I want to see what they provided to me. And one of them was this two color aquatic bottle opener. You, you just leave her off the the top of the bottle and then you you drink whatever's in the bottle. Fascinating. Work great. There was also this segmented shark. And I don't know. I, I love these sort of things. Like I love these little creatures, these little sharky creatures, all these segmented creatures. I, I just I find them fascinating. And the machine did a good job with it. And now using all four colors of materials from the ace, we made this this spinner, four rings, each one contained within the other, and then you can spin them around. Next, it was up to me to try to slice some of my own within the Anycubic Slicer. And it actually, it actually worked out great. The Anycubic Slicer, as it says in the about, is based on Prusa Slicer. But in the Slicer, I loaded this dragon from Mementix 3D. I believe I got this from Thangs, and I think it looks wonderful. I guess it's a cool little dragon. And, and what's kind of neat, all of these pieces can kind of snap together. So you get yourself like a rigid dragon. I had to do one of these little, these little spring loaded knife things where you can, comes out and it goes back in. Print quality was there. All of these pieces were printed in the interstellar violet and I, I think they, they worked out good. And this of course utilized all the colors of, that the, of the Pantone Color Institute series that Anycubic released. Really good colors, really good filament. I was really happy with it. The next thing I'm going to show you that I sliced myself, I, I need to get out a separate camera and just record what happens because you'll see. This is a Zao 3D axolotl and it's printed with the turquoise from the Pantone Institute of Anycubic and the, the pink stuff is from Cookie Cat and the white filament is just a generic white filament. However, when I put it on the build plate and I sized it up, I forgot that the purge block intersected with the model. Now it's not by a lot, but it's still there. And I was, I was really sad about this initially because I thought, well, now I have to reprint it, but no, no, you know what we can do? I'm just going to peel away the purge block just like that. Okay. That's not bad. So now what we do so we get these. Is this an operating room? I think what I can do is, is remove this. It's not terrible. Now, of course, we take our flame and we just kind of melt some of that plastic back together and you, you call it good. But look at that. That's now off. Sorry about that, kids. 
So this, like I said, is an axolotl, and this is from Zao 3D, and I love it. It's sized up a bit. Again, it intersected the purge block and the slicer. Didn't see it at the time, and I think it warned me, and I probably wasn't paying attention, but it still looks great. And now, finally, we get to talk about this cool project that I have in mind, and it is Hue Forge. What Hue Forge does is allow you to create really cool artwork using multiple colors of filament in a 3D printer. So with the Ace Pro over there and the four different Pantone Color Institute colors from Anycubic, I thought what I could do is get out my TD1 from Ajax and get TD values and hex code values for the color and I could put them in Hue Forge and I could attempt to make something cool. Now, what did I make? That's the question. Well, let me give you a hint. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, here we go. This is Bo-Katan from the Star Wars universe, and this is a statue made by Gentle Giant Studios. I was recently there, and you saw it. I talked to Jason Lopes, we talked about color, and it was amazing. They gave me a gift, this Bo-Katan statue, and I love it. No, I'm not taking it out of the box, are you crazy? Bo-Katan has a very recognizable helmet. So what if I took an image of the helmet and I stylized it myself in Hue Forge, and then I printed it out. I think it could look cool. Let me show you. Now, first up, I did get this. Now, I think it's cool. It's, it's art, but it's not what I was looking for. Not exactly. The TD numbers on these filaments are low because light cannot pass through them very well. So it's not something especially great for Hue Forge unless you're doing some very non-complicated painting. And I think I went too complex here, which is why this one looks like that. I still like it, but it isn't exactly what I was going for. So I went back to the drawing board or the Hue Forge app and I attempted something else. Let me show you. There we go. Look at that. Look at the colors of this Bo-Katan helmet that I made on the Anycubic Cobra 3 with the Ace Pro next to it and those four colors that we talked about. I think this is glorious. And at first I didn't know if I could Hue Forge on this machine because Hue Forge likes 0.08 or 0.04 slices, like really, really, really micro thin layers. And within Anycubic Slicer, it says the minimum layer height for this machine is 0.12 millimeters. And all you have to do to get past that is change the number and hit save. <laughs> That's all I did. And it worked. It absolutely worked. You can Hue Forge with the Cobra 3. And I'm really excited about that because I love this. And I love taking imagery that, I, that I'm very familiar with and applying different color palettes to it. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. And I hope you like it too. One final thing to mention though, when we talk about multicolor 3D printing through a single nozzle, there's always going to be the poop. There's always going to be the transitions between colors that ends up being the excess of the project that you're doing. And we're always going to try to find ways to reduce the amount of printer poop that is made when using multiple colors. And I, I know this is still brand new, but I get the feeling that Anycubic is probably gonna start tuning their profiles and we will see less poop per project. It's on us to show really cool and creative ways to utilize it and something I saw recently I really wanted to bring your attention to and that was 3D Print Bunny. What she did was create a lampshade with a lot of space in it and then put the poop into the lampshade and then put it over a light and it looked cool. Obviously less waste is better, but if we can find creative ways to use it, then I think we might be onto something. Well, this was my project with the Anycubic Cobra 3 combo and I love it. I love everything about this. And if you can get your hands on these colors, I highly recommend you do. They look really good and the filament performed well. The Anycubic 3 and the Ace Pro as a combo, there's a link in the description if you'd like to find out more about that. Well, thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more and fight for cause you believe in and print all the Star Wars things. And as always, high five.